So it looks like Diddy is in a free fall and Young Miami is falling right beside him because she is losing everything. Diddy has been facing a lot of public backlash after Cassie's lawsuit and things have gotten 10 times worse for him because not only is Diddy getting exposed by more and more women, but this controversy is also affecting his bag as well as Carisha's bag. Okay, so Young Miami has been on a PR run for Diddy since Cassie's lawsuit dropped and she recently brought her kids into it when she posted a video of her and her kids out and about. But a blind item exposed this as a PR stunt between her and Diddy saying, speaking of distractions, the subject in number four instructed his current girlfriend to have a social media blitz showing off herself and kids in public and how happy they appear to be. The extra six figures she got over the weekend probably helps a lot with the willingness to go all in. Sean Diddy Combs slash Young Miami. Now y'all might wonder why on earth Miami would want to stay with Diddy through the scandal that could cost him his entire career and her own career could very well be collateral damage. Well, the reason behind this is simple. Money. You see, for all the buzz that the city girls make on social media, the truth is that they're just not making all that much money. I mean, sure, they're not exactly broke or anything like that, but on their own, they don't make enough money to afford the lavish lifestyles that they show off on social media. Their last album literally sold like six or 8,000 copies. So Miami definitely needs Diddy and the 500K he is rumored to pay her every month as her sugar baby allowance. Then there's also the fact that Diddy literally gave her the Carisha Please brand. And everything that comes with it. You know, the merch, the podcast, and even the BET Hip Hop Awards that he was rumored to have bought for her. So she owes everything to Diddy. And as long as he's a free man and holds on to his power, she's good. But with Cassie's lawsuit, that is about to change because Diddy is quickly starting to lose his power. His businesses and brands that he's affiliated with are seeing this and they are quickly cutting him loose because he's a liability to them and they don't want to be associated with that. And can you really blame these brands? I mean, Diddy isn't the only one getting sued, but his companies and even some affiliated brands are getting sued. Cassie's lawsuit didn't only name Diddy as the defendant, but also his companies, including Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, Epic Records, Combs Enterprises, and Doe Corp, which means that his companies were held liable for his actions as well. But that's not all because a couple of days after Cassie's lawsuit, his companies were also named in another lawsuit that alleged that former Bad Boy Records president, Harve Pierre, S. A a woman. According to reports, the lawsuit filed in New York Supreme Court accuses Harv Pierre, a former president of Bad Boy Entertainment and Bad Boy Records, of engaging in a year-long pattern of group and unnamed assistant, leading to SH of plaintiff and SA from approximately 2016 to 2017. Pierre SA'd plaintiff on multiple occasions in New York City and other locations throughout the country. However, a representative of the company denied being liable for this and they said, the allegations are from many years ago that were never brought to the attention of the company. Neither the plaintiff nor the executive are current employees of the company. We are now investigating the allegations and our top priority is the safety and well-being of our employees. But that's still not all because two new lawsuits have been filed against Diddy that also name his companies as defendants. A woman named Jane Doe accused Diddy of SAing her and her friend. She named MCA Music Entertainment Group and Jeff and Records as defendants. The second woman, Joy Dickerson Neal, named Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, and Comb Enterprises as defendants. And as a result, other big companies that Diddy have ties with are distancing themselves from him. Macy's announced that they will no longer be carrying Diddy's brand, Sean John. They released a statement that said, as part of ongoing review of our brand portfolio, the Sean John collection has started to phase out of assortment since early fall 2023. Diddy's products are being removed and won't be available on the site. It's the course of business. Retail stores are always evaluating and deciding what's relevant to customers. The liquor company, Diageo, was also quick to hop on this because they've been trying to kick Diddy out for a while now. They took things to court saying, the new public and disturbing accusations against against him risk devastating and permanent damage to the tequila brand. They're not just trying to kick him off as the face of the brand, but rumor has it that they are trying to get rid of him completely and are forcing him to sell his shares in the company. But that's not all, because even the Grammys is trying to cut him off. According to reports, several Academy officials are pushing to remove the billionaire superstar from the Grammy guest list. There's conflict at the Academy as several voting members do not think it would be appropriate to invite Diddy. Some, including several high-profile 
while African American members fear that inviting him sends the wrong message to audiences and the charities it supports. Several publicists have asked that their artists aren't seated by him. So it's not only the brands that are cutting him off because even his fellow celebs are staying away from him. It's a hot mess and Diddy is losing money fast. But just when you think that it possibly couldn't get any worse, his brand Revolt TV also confirmed that Diddy has been asked to step down as the chairman of the brand. They released a statement on Instagram that said, Sean Combs has stepped down from this position as chairman of Revolt. While Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business, this decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora. They continue, our focus has always been one that reflects our commitment to the collective journey of Revolt. One that is not driven by any individual, but by the shared efforts and values of our entire team on behalf of advancing, elevating, and championing our culture. And that continues. So the streets are saying that the reason Diddy was asked to step down from his own brand is that he allegedly essayed and put pause on some staff at Revolt TV, and those staff members are about to come out and expose him. This kind of makes sense because the brand is obviously trying to cut ties with Diddy and avoid any sort of liability. It's just crazy because we're seeing the fall of Diddy in real time. And child, Young Miami is falling right beside him. Like I said, she makes most of her money from Diddy and her Carisha Please brand. And the only reason she got the brand in the first place was that she was Diddy's boo thing. But with Diddy out the door, child, she better start packing her bags because she's finna be next. Because according to the latest reports, after Diddy's exit from Revolt, the future of Carisha Please is hanging by a thread. So if that happens well, Miami would need to find another source of income. Because we all know City Girls isn't gonna bring the money, considering JT also decided to pursue a solo career. According to insiders, Miami knows this and she has been having something of a breakdown, talking about how it wasn't fair that she has to suffer for Diddy's actions. But then she's a smart woman and she is quickly cutting her losses. Only a few hours before it was announced that Diddy was stepping down, she launched a sale for Carisha Please and word on the streets is that she is trying to sell off as much as she can before it all gets taken away. Unfortunately for her, people don't exactly feel sorry for her and they left comments saying, she has lost her bread and butter so there is no reason for her to keep being a pick me and looking foolish and Diddy, I feel nothing for him. He did everything Ike Turner did to Tina Turner because reading that document pissed me off. I hope Carisha herself saved all her money and was smart and Miami is going to end up in jail if he goes. He is going to send her butt up the river. She knows too much and talks too doggone much. She has validated his bad behavior in tweets and interviews, I'm surprised she's still here. Child, Miami better get her coins right because the bank of Diddy is about to run dry. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation and then check out this next video.